let's create a product in Shopify. I'm going to go to my dashboard apps and then click on Printful because that's where I will have this one created. It's going to pull up all my products here. Now I want to add a product <clears throat> and I had a request for one so I'm going <laughs> to Yes, it is a fanny pack. We want the all over print, which is cool. It takes a little bit more work to get it right, but that's okay. I've already uploaded a bunch of images that we can use. So I'm going to go with this one because that's what the person wanted. You can move it all around. Um, you can change the size, but I'm going to keep it the same so that all the sides look kind of the same. So there's a the front move to the top. I do wish that they would kind of assign this to um, all the placements, which like they're not, but anyway, uh, back, same thing, inside pocket, I decide I'm just going to do the same thing, I'm going to, okay, so it's just a square, okay, and then the inside label, this is where you can add your logo. So I'm going to do that. Okay, now important, mock-up view. Because sometimes they just look a little weird together. All right, so I'm going to check out all of them. This actually looks pretty cool. I'm glad to get kind of a different view on that side. And there's the inside pocket with the label. I'm really anxious to see how those labels actually look because they look a little strange on the mock-up. Uh, thing to note, you can do all these edits here. Um, there are other things you can do with the design, but we don't really need to do any more print area background. We don't want any on this because it's an all over print. And I'm going to proceed to media. This is where you get to decide how your listing is actually going to look. So I'm going to try this one and it's only going to show you the white for now. You'll have to wait till it publishes, but we know it looks pretty good from the previous screen. So proceed to details. I I name each um, each painting uh, so that I can put it in the product title and keep track of it. This is where you put your tags in. Um, this is also accessories. Okay. And then that's going to get it in the right collection and have it display properly in my menu. Now I go to pricing. Okay, this is where I tend to mess up. Okay, so I'm not charging for pricing, so I have to figure that into my profit. I think fanny packs are $3.99. I just look at the pricing if I need to be sure. So I'm making $6 off this, which is fine, whatever. Uh, <laughs> but I don't remember if that's the price that I use. So I go back over here um, to my site. And I find the other one. Okay, yeah, it is the price that I use. So I'm just going to leave it at 35 and then I'm going to send it to my store. And uh, it generates files and it's going to sync and it's going to push it to my store. Okay, it is done. So I'm going to look at it. How does it look? It looks pretty good. Okay, so let's um, kind of, where is my screen? Okay, refresh this and see if it pops up. Uh, let's try that again. There it is, okay. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So the other great thing is by tomorrow, Pinterest will have picked this up as well and have created a pin for this item, actually for two items, usually because there are two different sizes. So that took us four and a half minutes. Pretty cool.